फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट मिस्टर डिप्टी स्पीकर सर आई विल एसोसिएट माई सेल्फ विद माई फ्रेंड्स बाय पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन द डिस्कशन रिगार्डिंग द डिफिकल्टीज फेस्ड बाय द पीपल इन द बॉर्डर एरियाज आई बींग अ रिप्रजेंटेटिव फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द बॉर्डर कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसीज अंडरस्टैंड द डिफिकल्टीज दैट द पीपल आर फेसिंग आई डो नॉट नो मच अबाउट खासी हिल्स ऑफ कोर्स I have visited certain areas last time which are facing economic difficulties in Khasi Hills but I know more about Garo Hills which I represent during the British time the people in the border areas of Garo Hills were the richest people their economic condition was the best they even have better education than any other side in the garo hills district but since the partition of the country people in the border areas of garo hills have been hard hit they have to live without land or property whatever permanent cultivation they used to have they have been asked to part with it in those days they used to grow jackfruit pineapples mangoes and other fruit trees but today they have abandoned due to less want in markets the border areas in the garo hills district start from south east mancatcher and extend to the southwest therefore in the northern side the people of that area were the happiest but during the last two years the people of the border areas of garo hills have been hard hit by rain as well as drought this year because of excessive rain several cultivable lands have been washed away by rain as a result of which people are living without food or any bare subsistence throughout the year much has been done to improve the loss of those people by the government not only by the government of meghalaya but by the government of assam as well i remember during the time of captain sangma when he was a minister of tribal areas department in assam much has been done at least for garo hills by giving subsidies to improve the economic condition of the border people but unfortunately we find that the economic condition of the people which has been so established in those days is deteriorating today government is spending lakhs and lakhs of rupees to improve the economic condition of the border people by importing seeds and implementing test relief schemes i personally am of the opinion that by giving subsidies the people have become lazier than before they do not know how to utilize the money they get from the government as such i am afraid that in future we should not encourage them by giving subsidies for whatever scheme we may take up to help the people of the border areas i think something concrete and permanent or useful should be given to them so that it would be of permanent help to those distressed people sir during these days some people came to me and asked me for a subsidy 
फॉर लैंड रिक्लेमेशन एंड फॉर टेररिसम आई ऑलवेज गिव अ रिप्लाई दैट इफ दे रियली वॉन्टिड रिक्लेमेशन ऑफ देयर लैंड और टेरेसिंग देन आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट द गवर्नमेंट टू मेक रिक्लेमेशन और टेरेसिंग फॉर देम आई टोल्ड देम आई कैन नॉट गिव यू मनी इफ यू वॉन्ट रिक्लेमेशन आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट द डिपार्टमेंट टू रिक्लेम फॉर यू बट गवर्नमेंट विल नॉट गिव यू मनी गवर्नमेंट मे सेंड पर्सनल टू एग्जामिन वेदर यूअर लैंड इज रिक्लेमेबल और नो देयर इज ओनली समथिंग कुड बी डन टू हेल्प यू अदर पीपल केम टू मी लास्ट टाइम एंड आस्क फॉर मनी फॉर परचेज और अ पेयर ऑफ बुलॉक्स बट आई सेट आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट द गवर्नमेंट टू गेट अ पेयर ऑफ बुलॉक्स फॉर देम बट नोट मनी सो सर दिस इज वट इज हैपनिंग इन द बॉर्डर एरियाज देयर फोर आई एम वेरी मच एडमेंट टू गिव एनी सब्सिडी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ मनी वट एवर वी आर गोइंग टू इम्प्रूव द इकोनॉमिक कंडीशन ऑफ द बॉर्डर पीपल वी शुड नोट ट्राई टू डू दैट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ गिविंग सब्सिडी आई मीन कैश सब्सिडी आई एम वेरी मच अगेंस्ट इट हाव एवर आई एम ग्रेटफुल टू द एग्रीकल्चर डिपार्टमेंट बिकॉज दे आर डूइंग देयर वर्क दैम सेल्वस इन द फील्ड ऑफ द रिक्लेमिंग द लैंड फॉर द पीपल somebody may require irrigation facility then the agriculture department will send their field officers to inspect the places and then if everything is all right they will commence the work themselves so there is no scope for giving subsidy this is quite good and is rather an encouraging practice of the benefit of the people in the border areas i find that a lot of work could be done without spending any amount for the scheme some flat lands can be converted into wet cultivable lands within a short span of time thereby making the scheme a permanent source of relief to those distressed people in the border areas today if i am asked to define the word border areas as an mla from the border area i find it extremely difficult to do so i remember that those villages in the border areas within a radius of 10 miles perhaps i am speaking subject to correction are termed as border areas stop